This is the Jobu Tiger, old Norwegian saw, early 1960, I will guess, I don't know. It has a very special bar and the chain. The chain is open to fit over the bar here. So this is the, the guiding uh, pattern and this is uh, uh, inverted from the normal. The normal is the chain is going down in a, in a track on the bar. Here the chain is having the track which is following the guide here. Very uh, rough chain, difficult to find a new one if you don't have one. This I have laid in, uh, put in oil for uh, a month or two, just lay there. I did a carburetor rebuild on this, this is an ordinary uh, Tillitson HL carburetor. With, uh, I took it off and I rebuilt it, new, uh, new um, dia uh, frame and gaskets and clean it in ultra sonic uh, cleaner I uh, never tried this kind of saw before in my whole life but uh, it's a uh, yubu and uh, it's exciting give it a little oil in the nose spot it I don't find any oiling hole But I just lit and it run around pretty good with no dysfunction. It's important to check if the sprocket here is okay and if uh, the sprocket uh, and the clutch is not uh, the clutch is not uh, uh, stuck. The needle bearing or could be rusted and stuck but um, it seems to turn around freely so then it's just to try to find the bar cover well I found some parts and I guess uh, it is for this saw but I realized I did something wrong because I found this this is bar plates Probably those two looks like they belong together. Those two doesn't look like they have anything to do with this all. I was right. But this, they are just the same. Must be this one. Uh, yeah, you will. It must be this one. Probably this one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the nuts is this one. Ah, oh, this is cool. So, I need to do it one more time. It all often happens when you're not that uh, familiar with a saw. You do things and you need to take it off and you need to do it one more time. Okay. Uh, there is a right and there is a left, I guess. They are not uh, uh, exactly the same, so which way could it be? This way? This way! No, this way? Yeah, yeah!
This is where the oil coming out, and this is the bar tensioner. Supposed to come out there. I don't know if it does. So I relax the tensioner a little more again, all the way back. Often to lift the sword a little when you do it. And this uh, chainsaw have this forever lasting steel wire here. Looks very rough, but uh, I guess it lasts forever. You need to be extremely strong to take this off, wear it out. So, give it a little drink and see what's happening. Very thirsty chainsaw. There is gasoline on it. I must not forget to put oil on it for the bar. That's empty. It's been staying in my garage for uh, very long. Yes, it's been standing a year in my garage with no attention to it. I just did the carburetor rebuild and uh, tested that it starts and it did and then I uh, left it until today. Choke off on off three speed. You can, if you have the finger for it, big fingers, you can do you can do like this, or you can do like this. Yeah, three speed in with that, not there. Take back the filter. Pretty cool looking. 